It is good to see you. I think you are wonderful. Everybody, welcome back. Well, I know y'all are looking for that, that traditional introduction. Welcome to PTG TV. This is your host, Antonio Hicks. So today I want to talk about something a little, because I thought something, something cool just came out. But I want to dive into the fascinating world of like a biohacking. And I don't know if y'all really know anything about that. I think it's very interesting. It's almost like that whole cyborg thing that uh, we can do that we're working towards doing. Because I'm really told, I'm really all for cybernetics and stuff. But I think it's really cool, like some of the things that we're working on right now. And it's really a uh, test case as really, came out that I think it's sad for how it happened. But I think it's beautiful for what, you know, science has been able to done. And this is what I, I talk about when I'm when I say that. I want us to get away from all this divisiveness so we can work towards the evolution of man and we can work towards all this new technology and we can work towards improving and helping human lives. So what exactly is biohacking? It's basically using science and technology to understand and improve your own biology. So we're talking about like sleep cycles, diet, exercise, even wearable tech, you know, like the Apple ring. Well, not Apple rings, that's what I'm going to speak on too, but uh, <laughs> the Samsung rings getting ready to come out or the Aura ring or, you know, like your Apple watch, a Samsung watch, things like oh, that, that nature when you talk about wearable tech. So anything that you can use to optimize your body and your mind. Now, the question that you should ask yourself is, which I'm all for, if I'm, I'm, I'm old school, I don't know if y'all remember Johnny Newmonic where they had the implants in his brain. Why would you want to biohack anything about yourself? And I would say the benefits behind it are pretty, pretty are, are pretty cool. So you know, Elon Musk is already working towards. Well, he's already have using the, the human test trial studies to put like computers and stuff into your brain. And I think for me, that will help out a lot when it comes towards patients that have suffered from strokes or people that's battling with ALS. Or if you know you just want to hash your regular old memory, like I wouldn't mind having you know storage bank into my brain. Yeah, it does can get corrupt, but I mean, I mean, yeah, hey, uh, it's, it's it's you know I still wouldn't mind doing it. Now it ain't gonna, be, I don't like the way it's looking right now, but I would like the way you know towards the future because it was the same thing in the Matrix. But you know, here's a story, a true story now, of a woman who suffered a major stroke and she was able to use a brain implant powered by AI to help give her her voice back. Today is an opportunity for Anne and Bill to have a conversation through our brain decoding to facilitate what we think would resemble a future use of an actual real life application of the technology. The device is an electrocorticography grid which is attached to a pedestal which is screwed onto the participant's skull. Hey Anne, how's it going? It is good to see you. I think you are wonderful. Now, what's really sad about that is, is that she has two kids. Like she just suffered this just, just stroke out of nowhere. This rare condition is out of nowhere. And now she's not even able to communicate with her husband. But what's that's the sad part about it. But what's beautiful about this new technology is that now she's able to communicate, especially using an avatar too, to her husband. So her husband can ask her questions and she's not able to respond back just using her mind. And I think that in itself is just amazing. I mean, would y'all be willing to get a loved one signed up to do something of that nature or, you know, something happened to them and now they, and they couldn't communicate with you and now they can't communicate with you again? I mean, I would. I mean, if it was me, I would ask them to do it for me. I would try anything at that point in time to be able to communicate like I used to. And I think, because I'm like, that is just, that's why we have technology. And that's why I'm all for the advancement of technology, even when it comes to AI. I am not one of those fear mongers that's going to sit here and say AI has taken over the world. But I mean, I think it's going to, it's, it's, of course, it's going to eliminate some jobs. And I'm, I, you know, eventually my job is going to get taken away too. But, um, I think and I still think it's good for certain things. And that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about biohacking. And some of the other benefits behind that is like it's helping towards sharpening your focus. So we all want that extra mental edge. So biohacking can help you improve like concentration and memory. We have apps for that. Uh, boosting your energy. So if you're feeling sluggish, biohacking can help you unlock like your body's natural energy reserves, helping you to stay on top of your game. Like if you want to sleep like a champ, like, and I have a problem with sleeping too. And you're getting tired of like tossing and turning. You have biohacking. Biohacking that can help you optimize your sleep cycles for deeper, more restful nights. And I mean, you have apps that help you regulate that and monitor your sleep cycle along with the wearables that you can use to really go deep into your like heart rate, your breathing patterns, 
like even whether you're so it help you with like, determine whether or not you know you're snoring a lot or if you're tossing and turning your sleep and also how long you're going into a deep REM sleep it can help towards optimizing your health for like stress management to improve gut health like biohacking can really address a range of like health concerns they even have one study that's going on right now and it's been going on for a minute because i know <laughs> people that do this outside of being treated by doctors i don't I, I wouldn't recommend that because you can really mess your system up but they have this thing called fecal my microbiota transportation so fmt and there's a procedure that involves transferring healthy bacteria from a donor's fecal matter to a recipient's colon, which can help with treatment. So you have IBD, inflammatory bowel <laughs> disease, and IBS, irritable bowel syndromes. I had IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, for a, a while. So I had like I had Crohn's disease, and I'm thank God I'm recovered from it now. So it's um. I think biohacking is a good thing. Let me you know. Let me know. Or is this something that y'all would be interested in doing? Because biohacking is not just for like cyborgs and like scientists. I mean, it's for anyone who wants to take control of their health and their well-being. It's about, you know, small, sustainable changes that make a big difference in your body and in your life. So you ready to, you know, biohack and improve some of your conditions and help out with your memory? Like, would that be something that you'd be interested in doing? Because I think it's... um. <laughs> I think it's something that, like I said, I would do. Even when it comes to, like, if, we, if you've seen Cyberpunk 2077, like the anime, not just the video game itself, like, they replaced out, like, lungs and stuff, or they helped out improving, like, people's, uh, replacing, like, ligament muscle tissues to help them out with uh, endurance. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that you can, that we're working towards doing now. But the main one that we've seen is they're working towards nanomachines, to, but I don't know if that would necessarily be biohacking. It could be, yeah, you know, to help like isolate and, and and knock out diseases inside of people's bodies. Like they have the one procedure that this um, sister came up with using, is it a, a nano machine? I think it is a nano machine, but it's been already configured to hunt down like cancer cells. And once it hits the cancer cell, because she has configured a program, she can use a laser to target that one nano machine and zap it with the laser and it explodes inside of the, the cancer cell and blows the cancer cell up. And so that's that's why I'm like, I'm all for things of that nature. So I, like I, said, I think we need to get past this whole device and this so we can focus on this to help improve human life to where we don't have to worry about certain conditions or, you know, birth defects and stuff because we can clear. And yeah, I know people are going to say, well, you're trying to play God. But I mean, at the end of the day, if it can help you out and help the person out and, and God gave us the knowledge to do it, why not? Why not? So thank y'all for tuning in this episode. I was something short and sweet. I do want to talk about that because I thought it was real. I, to me, that, that was a sad story and it was a loving story because I hate it for that. She can't really interact with her daughters like she used to. It's like nobody wants to do that. Nobody, nobody wants to go through that and not even be able to interact with her husband like she wants. To. And now her husband is her husband. He loves her. He has to take care of her in a way that, you know, we generally wouldn't have to do stuff like that until we got to like our old senior years. So now he has to watch the two girls that they have on top of you know her and help and make sure that she's okay but i mean my heart goes out to him man he loves his wife and as well as he should he, he loves his wife and he was there he's been there with her the whole time so you know my prayers and blessings go to them and going forward and that they can continue to improve upon this technology to where she can communicate with this man like they used to it might not be in the natural sense but still you know it's good that she can still be able to talk with him again. And they're hoping that they can get her to a place to where she can start doing counseling again. So and I, I think they will be. With, with the, the advancement that we're having with the technology that we have right now, I think within like a couple of years, she will be at, she will be able to communicate like you wouldn't know that, you know, something, unless you see her, something was wrong with her. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in to the episode. Go check out some of my previous episodes and make sure y'all tune in to some of the live streams. Again, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. I may add another day into it, but guaranteed every Monday and Wednesday between 7 and 8 o'clock. I can't isolate the time because crap always happens in my day-to-day -day life. So that's why I say between 7 and 8. Because in between that time frame, I will be streaming. And if you turn on your notifications, you would know that because you would get notified that I am live and on air. So y'all come in. You know, let's chop it up. Let's have some fun. Talk about some of the stuff we're talking about now with biohacking. Would you want to be a cyborg? And is it something that you're interested in doing? Would you want to log into the Matrix? You know, my name is Escaping. My, my, my other handle is Escaping the Matrix. So is it something that you would be interested in doing? So, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in this episode. Y'all be safe out there. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, 
and then share this channel, you know, comment. They help me improve by the algorithm because I am growing. So thank y'all to the 5,000 plus people that have tuned in now that has locked into this channel. I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for checking out this content. And let's see, you know, I'm excited about the growth that we're having here because I consider my channel to be very diverse when it comes to conversation. And it's not just things that I'm opinionated on. It's things that I've actually lived and I do in my own personal life with politics, technology, and gaming. And I like to have a good time talking about it and get serious sometimes too. But, and this thing is serious and it's good. But yeah, I think it's a good channel and I'm, I'm excited about it, where it's going going forward. So again, thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, Matrix out.